then we have uh, when we talk about webcasting we have websites we have blogs we have social media we have podcasts podcasts we talked about uh, so these are all ways in which we can actually cast our uh, technology now i'm going to uh, demonstrate how we can design our own site i am sure many of you have your own blogs many of you have your own websites i am sure all of us have our social media accounts so uh, that is not a problem and if you have any of these three you can always podcast so you don't need any other dedicated platform for podcasting for videos too you can always use the existing platforms that you have for delivering your lectures uh, and casting your lectures but we are going to have a look at how we can design our website quickly for free and uh, depending on our need and similarly we can also design our own blogs so two major tools that we are going to look at right now is designing your own website for free and design your own blog for free those of you who know of course will have their so i am going to stop sharing my screen for a second and i am going to switch the screen uh, for a moment so designing websites there are uh, there are uh, many sites which allow you your own personal web page but i am going to use google sites so see you should go to sites.google.com and i am going to present again you can see my tab in a while and my tab has address sites.google.com now when i enter this it will take me to the google sites platform it says welcome to the new google sites I hope my screen is visible. I have already signed in, but in case you are not signed in, it will ask you to sign in first. And when you sign in, it will give you this is the first view after you sign in to sites.google.com. It will give you these ready-made options: blank website format, portfolio website. This, these are purposes for which we need to design our website. So in case you are designing your website, the primary purpose of your website is, you know, projecting your portfolio. Then you will go for this. If you are opening up a restaurant, then you will go for this. And uh, there are even more, you know, platforms, uh, more options. So you say owned by anyone. Supposing, you know, I'm, I'm selecting this website event and yes there is this template gallery so you can uh, also use that template gallery see apart from this there are other sites which has options like personal portfolio education let's say education supposing i want to design a website for my class and there can be many websites for example you can design one website for every class or every program or you can design an individual website personal website and you can put all your classes there even that is possible so see here 
it is prompting for a tour of this platform. I will say skip this tour, but in case uh, you want to see the tour, let's have a look at it. See, move things around. You can always, you know, put content where you want. You can also share your site like Google Docs with others to edit it. And when you are happy, you can publish it. So as you can see here, the right hand side corner, right top corner, there is publish button. So when your website is ready, you can publish it. Let me design the website. For example, my class today is digital tools. Digital tools is the name of my class today. Let's say digital tools, whatever may be the semester. I can change the image here. I can select the image from here. In case you don't like this stock image, let's say I want to keep this image or this image or this image, whatever. I can select it. And as you can see, digital tools, the background to this class name is changed. In case I want to change the style, I can say title only. So the image will go away. So you can personalize this. Now class overview. Here. In case you want to write anything here, you can say a webinar from Tulani Arts and Science College. So that can become the subtitle. You can arrange this, format this, maybe you want to center align it. So whatever, in case you want to change the style, In case you want to make it bold or it legs, you can do that. Class overview. So you can say whatever your learning objectives are. For example, I can write here that uh, this class covers some of the commonly used digital tools for students and teachers. So that can be my description, whatever description you want to add. Then if you go down here, there is a link, a link to insert something, maybe an image, yeah, and these images can further be linked to something, uh, let's say your reading material or anything. Here on the right hand side, you see below publish, you see insert button here. Yeah, so insert says text box, images or drive or embed. For example, if you want to uh, give a link to a YouTube lecture that you already have on YouTube, you can embed the link here. So embed, type the link here. For example, This can be a lecture which you can insert here. So students will be able to see that lecture here. You can give a caption to that. Okay. Here there is a picture. You can add your own image here. Right click on it. Or delete it here, this button delete so delete it and uh, you will be able to put your own image here from selecting images here okay. in case you want to give a caption here you can give a caption here these are all very basic things here you can put your own uh, id like your own description your profile your picture if you choose to if you want to 
and then there are these resources so among the resources i have added one video there are nine ready-made links which are given here but you can add more here by using this embed button okay now one thing that we must do and which is like which will be useful for across platforms and across classes is to create google drive see that button google drive if you have a google account which i'm sure all of us have we get access to google drive complimentary unless you want extra storage uh, it is complimentary but you can even buy additional storage or additional features so we have this drive and uh, i would suggest that we store everything on this drive all your lectures all your reading material uh, for example kach university website has uh, old question papers stored in a drive and uh, in the student section the link to this drive is shared similarly we can store all our resources on drive here and uh, then we can include a link to this drive so when you click on the drive it will open up the link to this uh, drive documents that i have stored here let's say for example the guidelines or lectures or video whatever is stored supposing i'm i want to you know share this image i can say insert so this could be my authentic material for the students who are reading basic english so i can design an exercise based on this image so similarly you can all formats are mostly supported by drive so whether it is a word document whether it is a pdf whether it is a video whether it is an audio whether it is a text document whatever it is if it is on drive you can put it here and when it gets open the drive is accessed by the student's account uh, directly so even loading and unloading time and downloading all that might not be necessary so you can go on adding links as many as you want and then in case you want to write anything see here there are ready made links in case you want to include a youtube video a map link or a calendar entry or a document or a slide or excel sheets or forms google forms we have used extens extensively for registering and uh, for all sorts of data so all these can be readily inserted there are these stylistic themes which you want to change in case you want to change you can change it there will be minor difference supposing you want to change the color so all this you can do right so i think and see the colors are changed and the uh, get up is changed now in case you want to add more button to it uh, more pages to it you can add pages yeah, here pages there is only one page active here schedule newsletter see these pages are blank so far they are shown in gray the pages listed here are here linked okay. so when you design these pages they will be active in the link too yeah class schedule in case you want to add this is one model schedule you can use this page for whatever and in case you might not want to you know use this page at all you can just delete it from here or you can hide it from navigation so when you hide it from navigation it will be shown to you here but not here hmm? not on the top so uh, the visitors cannot click on it that is hiding from the view yeah 
newsletter so you can even add pages here you can add pages here see here do you see the plus sign I want to add one page and that page will be reading material done see here a new page is added and in this page I can go on adding here here I can link again I can go to insert page I can give entries from uh, yeah my drive so I can actually add something here let's say I'm sharing this PDF so it will be inserted here similarly I can have a big number of uh, things being shared here in case I want to write something here I can draw a text box let's say reading material for tomorrow's class so that will be so you can very comfortably design your own website I hope this is uh, clear to many of us now we will move towards uh, the blogs so again I will rely on Google so there is a Google blogspot blogger.com I hope my tab is visible to everyone so type in your when you type in your address bar blogger.com it will give you this screen that says create your blog it will ask you to sign in so first sign in it will ask you immediately for a blog a title so let's say again the title of our blog could be see this is different from the blog address which will be the next step now it will ask you for the address and as you type it will give you the availability so first I typed digital tools and it said it is not available so I chose digital tools HE for higher education digital tools HE <clears throat> so in that case your address will be digital tools HE dot blogspot.com so whenever you want to share your address it will be this which name do you want to suggest आपको नाम कौन सा रखना है यहाँ पे ब्लॉगर प्रोफाइल सो लेट्स से आई कैन टाइप माय नेम और यू कैन टाइप एनीथिंग एल्स एंड इट विल बी फिनिश्ड इट सेज प्रोसेसिंग डिस्प्ले नेम इज अपडेटेड इट हैज दिस नोटिस अबाउट कुकीज एंड इट सेज दैट इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली पोस्ट दिस नोटिस टू द यूजर्स नाउ हियर इट सेज देर आर नो पोस्ट सी दिस नो पोस्ट so see this plus sign and create a new post let's say my first post. blog is usually for text write-ups and images so in case I want to add label I can say class one okay. this will be my new label and here I can type writing the first class on digital tools for higher education teachers and students was conducted whatever you can write a paragraph and uh, many of the budding writers use blogs or many of the uh, blog is also a kind of social media but we can use it for educational purposes 
In fact, there have been very detailed studies about uh, use of blogs and education and how uh, the results can be improved with the use of blogs. Many of the students use blogs. So if you don't want to go for a website, maybe you can have your own blog where you can post everything, all the reading material, all the course description, even videos you can link. You know, you can link the YouTube video that you have uploaded. The third thing I'm going to talk about is creating your own YouTube channel and uh, posting your own videos uh, so that you can share it. But if not that, you can always uh, put your video to dry. So then this is it. And uh, this is my entry. I can insert an image from here. Let's say I can choose one from Google Photos. Yeah. Maybe this one. I can insert. Yeah. This can be anything. You can add n number of images. You can add video. You can link something. You can edit your text. You, know, you can change the color of your background. Maybe let's say I want to have this color background. So when it will be published, it will have that background. You can change the font. All that is very standard. And uh, then we can move ahead. <coughs> I can say publish this button is published and see here my blog will be published now uh, when I type here this tab you know the blog address that we had it will be digital tools he.blogspot.com hmm? when I type my this address Will open up see here is your blog similarly you can you know create more you know uh, entries in uh, here there are things the profile that I had typed you can link your profile from here you know there are many other things that you can explore similarly for the website I think we did not press the publish button, but once you publish it, uh, it would ask you for a choice of uh, website name and then it will be, uh, the website address will be, let's say website address is xyz, so it will be sites.google.com, oblique view, oblique xyz, so this will be your address. And now this website is not published so it is not showing but once you publish your website I think we can do that mm, I think we were here on the website before this yeah we were here Now, in your website, if you want to, you know, put some news item, you can uh, on this show banner and let's say news webinar 2 on 31st July, whatever, 2020. So this is the news item. And I have typed it. See. So it will show you on the top. So people would come to know that it's a news. And here comes the publish button. It will ask you <coughs> for a web address. Again, I can give the same address. Digital Tools HE. Hmm? And it will show me the availability. See that check mark here? shows availability this is available now if i don't write he it will be red and it says it is already taken just like website names website uh, titles uh, we need to be careful about choosing the names of the 
domains and uh, still better this i am talking about individuals but of course we all have institutional websites and all that i am saying you know linking the google drive and everything our institutional website can provide us web pages subject wise or teacher wise depending on the capacity of the website and the limits of the website that it can have for data and other things so your web administrator uh, the technical person would know how much it can allow for but i think in all our uh, uh, in all our uh, institutions we have our institutional websites if there aren't any institutional website we can always design one because websites are something which is need of the art so i think no institute these days can do without a website even if it is a free website like google sites as i demonstrated it can be that or it can be uh, you know purchased domain dedicated domain website so we can do that so this uh, name is published it says publishing yeah it is published your site has been published successfully view yeah and what is the address of my site that i have just designed this https double slash sites.google.com view digital tools he compared to a conventional web address this is a long address and of course you know there will be this host address visible but that's okay right unless you want to buy a domain you can go for these uh, long addresses and there is nothing wrong in it and the beauty of this idea is that you can have your own personal website which is controlled by you and very easily if it is an institutional or departmental website you have to contact the web administrator the web engineer and you have to you know take his help and he would know the specifics or you will have to forward the material to him and then it will be uploaded if that can be done it it is the best but if cannot be done if it cannot be done this is the way out i think so this is the address of my website here is my website live here is my blog live you can see i could do it in 10 minutes 10 minutes for a website 10 minutes for a blog of course it takes a lot of time to develop it but in making it live it takes 10 minutes yeah so have a google address use google tools you know and uh, then you can do it okay so these are the two most important things uh, that we wanted to discuss